Hello. In today's video, we'll be discussing some ways to repel narcissists. Sometimes avoiding narcissists is just impossible, no matter how hard you try. Maybe that new coworker or your best friend's new significant other is a narcissist, and that means you're stuck dealing with them at least sometimes. When that happens, there are some ways you can fluster these people enough to where they want to leave you alone. If you have no enforced good boundaries, narcissists aren't going to like you. A good victim has weak or more likely non-existent boundaries. If you have healthy boundaries that you aren't afraid to enforce, a narcissist won't really know what to do with you. They're probably going to try to overrun them or make you feel stupid or wrong for having them, but when you're secure in the knowledge that what you're doing is right, their gaslighting and their games won't work on you. Having healthy self-esteem is also a huge turnoff to narcissists. The lower a person's self-esteem, the easier that person is to control because that person will tolerate a lot of abuse. The person doesn't believe he or she is worth any better treatment. But on the opposite side of the same coin, the healthier a person's self-esteem, the harder that person is to control because they don't tolerate mistreatment. They know they deserve better. While narcissists often enjoy the challenge of controlling a person with healthy self-esteem, they also will give up when they see that that person isn't going to tolerate their abuse very easily. Knowing about narcissistic personality disorder is also a huge turnoff to narcissists. Even if you don't explain the ugly details of narcissism or call them narcissists, so long as you know what these people are like and what they're capable of, it's going to be a problem for them. Narcissists don't want anyone to figure out what they're doing, because a person who understands their games cannot be controlled or manipulated. And this also means that person is not going to create any narcissistic supply. Self-validation is also a very powerful weapon against narcissists. They want their victims to look only to them for validation. A person who doesn't need the narcissist for validation won't provide any narcissistic supply or be controlled by a narcissist. Understanding that no contact is a very viable option also gives you strength when dealing with narcissists, and they can handle a strong person. Narcissists want to be the ones in charge at all times. If you know that you have options and you don't have to let the narcissist make decisions in the relationship, things like that, you'll become a pretty formidable foe to a narcissist. If a narcissist knows that you don't need him or her, you cease to be a victim and instead become a threat. Narcissistic parents and spouses in particular like to make a victim completely dependent on them, preferably financially and emotionally. If they see you're well aware that you don't need the narcissist and can leave the relationship at any time and still survive just fine, you're not going to be a good victim to a narcissist. Avoiding all narcissists is definitely impossible, unfortunately. But if you can implement some of these tools, you'll be able to handle yourself pretty well when you must deal with them. Thank you for watching my video.